should not have attempted to rescue me from the beam. If you had not done so, you would not be here now. Ah, you'd have done the same for me. Of course, you're not going to find me walking around with one of those cooled larvae in my gut, but hey. Ouch. These Goa'uls died with their human hosts. The marks on these bones, they are from a cutting instrument, but not metal. What then? I believe they were made by large, powerful teeth. These bodies did not die of natural causes. They were killed and then eaten. Well, it's obvious some wild animal found its way in. There's got to be a way out. We find it, we're gone. I call it the labyrinth. It is the place where the Goa Uld are destroyed. How was it done? Did you feel it? Yes. And was it painful? It was nothing compared to the suffering I watched myself inflict on others. all those years. So many. Your human friend O'Neill, he can walk out unharmed. All you need do is wait. Tilk is our friend too. He's Jaffa, not Goa Uld. Jaffa, a friend. They are as guilty as those they serve. This Jaffa gave up his rank, left his home, so he could join us and fight the Goa Uld. His dream is to see his people free. But if the Gould larva within him is removed, he will die. I see, once a Jaffa carries a, a larva, it, it acts as his immune system. I know all I want to know of Jaffa. All right. If the hammer drives the Gold Uld from him and he dies, so be it. It is his penance for serving the Goa Uld. Teal'c was in the service of Apophis, but he saved our lives and he helped us escape. He is one of us now. I will take you. But first I must consult the runes. Hey guys, Mike Dopid here. Now I hope you love Parso's YouTube channel. As much as I love beans, baby.